Hi everyone. So today we're gonna try to find out how big is Mea 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 Loka Poa Umpa, and how powerful exactly is the beef notation. So this number we know that is a very very big number. It's a legendary number. It's written in this way, but most of you probably don't understand what this is, including myself. Um, and I spent a week or more just trying to find out or study BEAF. So many people may ask what is L and what is the subscript and what is this notation means. So in this video we're trying to find out. So as you know BEAF is a very very crazy notation. Definitely one of the most craziest thing I have ever seen in Googleology. Way 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 crazier than chain arrow or anything else. Basically people have separated it into eight different levels. So we have the linear array multi-dimensional, tetrational, pentational, sublegion, legion, legiatic, <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that, luxians, lactians, ligians, and beyond. So of course this number is beyond even this level. I know it's kind of ill-defined, but we're gonna look at it anyway. So linear array, the first level, is already way, way, way beyond chain arrow notation, which is faster than f of omega square in the fast going hierarchy and then you have the multi-dimensional and then tetrational level is uh, the highest level of BAF that is well defined which grows at the rate of f of epsilon naught and anything here is ill defined so what is the linear array so let's of course first look at the BAF and then we gonna see how big how big this is so linear array very brief um, you can read it yourself, this one equals to A, and AB equals to A to the power of B, and then ANB is equal to A up arrow with N up arrows B, and then ABC, so this is one entry, this is two entry, and this is three entry, and uh, ABC is equal to A bracket C B, and then four entry, ABCD is equal to A with D number of brackets and then C, B. So it kind of looks like this with D pairs of brackets. And for entry, B, E, F is already <laughs> growing as fast as the Conway chain arrow notation in this form. So N to the N to the N with N number of Ns. And this is chain arrow. This grows as fast as this. And this is still, of course, the linear array. And this is only four entries. And of course, we can add one more entry, so A, B, C, D, E, even six entry, or even ten entries, or even n number of entries. So this is the growth rate, uh, respectively. So n entries would be growing as about as fast as f of omega to the omega. So really fast, way beyond chain arrows already, and this is still the first level of B, E, A, F. And of course, there's this symbol over here, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, kind of like N. So 9 and 9 is basically means 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 with 9 terms or 9 entries. So this grows as around F of omega to the power of 7, 9. So pretty crazy already just for this one. Way, way, way beyond Graham's number, of course. Even way beyond the chain arrow notation. I mean, some of them. Um, and of course, many people ask, is BEF, can BEF used to represent tree 3 or SCG? I guess if you count the ill-defined section, it actually could. So I, I told you before that, you know, chain arrow or, or up arrow can no, never be used to represent tree 3 because it's just way too weak. But this crazy thing actually can. So this just gives you a quick idea how crazy uh, the beef is. And then, of course, this is um, basically BEF is uh, is basically you can kind of say it's infinite iteration or expansion. But anyway, I shouldn't use the word infinite. But this just give you a quick idea. And this sign over here, it kind of means the array of notation. So n and n kind of grows at around f of omega to the omega. And then, of course, 9 and 9 can be also written this way. So 9, 9, 1, 2. And one, this thing over here, it's, it means the break between rows. So it's kind of act as a break. I'm not going to explain too much how this works. It's pretty difficult. 
um, and then this is basically the limit for uh, linear array because linear array it just means you know linear like horizontal so n and n is kind of the limit which is this one um, and then uh, the next one the next level is the dimensional array which uh, you can start with this one and of course you just extend it at this point so you can do something like um, b and a but there's a subscript 2 over here that means bracket a b with subscript 3 what does it mean it means a a a, a with b number of a and then there's a subscript 2 over here and in general a b n equals to a, a, a with n minus 1 over here but of course y n over he y n at here you can continue this thing you can do something crazy like this thing over here with b number of terms and this can be written as a b one two and then in general a b n two equals something like this and then of course you can continue with three subscripts so here is two this is three and it can be written this way and you know a b one three is equal to a b three and a b one n is equal to a b n and of course, feel free to pause the video, or you can even look it up yourself at the Wikipedia page. Uh, and I'm, I don't quite understand how this works, but uh, anyway, AB112 is equal to AAA, and with B number of copies, and AAA with B number of copies. So again, the one here act as a brick between the rows, which I kind of told you already in here. And why stop here? Of course, you can continue. You can add as many number ones as you want. And of course, each additional step, it grows, it escalates quickly, very, very quickly. And then, of course, you can change one to two. So two, in this case, would be two. It means two dimension. So that's why it's called a multi-dimensional array. And then n here, it means n dimension. And then you become you and then we get to something called the x structure which kind of represent in x to the power of n so x plus one i mean x and n what does it mean it kind of means n and n, n with n number of n so i kind of told you already something like this and the x plus one structure and n it means n n n n n, n with a break and n so in this case i have to tell you this doesn't work as the you know the nine and nine like this it doesn't mean there is x plus one terms here no here it doesn't mean x plus one terms it means something like this and then and, and, and. so it doesn't operate the same as before even though it kind of misleading it means there's a break over here with the x structure and then of course you can keep going you can have x plus two x plus three blah 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 until you have x plus x or two x it means something like this with, um, I guess, um, 2x or x number of ones. And then you can have x squared and n, which can be written this way, n, n, 2, 2. And even x to the x and n, or x to the x to the x to the x and n. Again, I'm not going to try to show you. Some of them cannot be even be shown uh, because it's, it's, it's called the dimensional. It's more than one dimension. Linear, I mean, this way is kind of like one dimension two dimension you have to look at it like 3d and then here is n dimension so it cannot even show you like this this i think there's a few pictures online or you know you can look it up yourself kind of give you a idea what it could look like and then eventually of course x to the x to the x to the x what does that mean of course that means is tetration as you can see here this is called the tetrational array which is the third level and the limit is x arrow arrow x and n again it doesn't mean there is x double arrow x number of terms it means something else completely way crazier than that um it kind of means something like this but way crazier of course so of course that means it's not x plus one or x to the x number of terms anyway um let's continue so after i mean this is again tetrational array um you can read this you can pause the video and eventually we can reach x triple arrow x and n and this is of course pentational array which is ill defined so 
anything up to here is I believe is well defined although it's already pretty difficult to understand but anything up to here is not well defined so you can treat it as a grain of salt I'm just gonna show you how big it could be I guess and then um, of course plantation you can kind of write it this way you know I already explained what this is so three 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 it means three in um, uh, three and three and three and then it kind of look I mean it again it does not looks like this because this is just linear array of course this is not linear array this is plantation array so it does this thing three 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 and three does not equal to uh, three 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 number of terms of three no way bigger than that and then of course after plantation you have subligion array which is um, of course, again, it's, uh, it's, it's ill-defined, so I guess it's something with a number of up arrows. So let's say uh, heptation or as many uh, up arrows as you want. And then the next level, we finally arrive at the, um, the legion arrays. This is way crazier. Uh, again, we brought this notation again. So array of, again, this array of does not equal to the previous array of in the linear array notation. And we can define something like this. So this is already, we haven't seen this before. N and N and N and N, blah, 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 with N number of Ns. We can use a new notation. I don't know what this is called. So N something N. And then you can write it this way. A, B slash two equal to A something B. And this is kind of means a legion space. And of course, you can do something like this. You can read it. You can pause the video. This one means with B number of legions, you know, pretty crazy already. I don't even how know how to explain this, but you can read it yourself. Some And then you can do something like this, where the legions form a B to B structure. And then the next level is this thing. Legiatic arrays. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And then this is the, um, and then we have this notation here, a new notation again, which is kind of double the legion array of. So three and n three, kind of means something like this, which is something like this, way beyond what we can try to imagine. And then this one is equal to this, even crazier. And then next we have the legion. So l we. Now we kind of introduce a new notation L, which looks familiar, of course, is in this thing, in this number over here. So we finally see the where the L came from. It means legion structure. So L is a very big thing. <laughs> I, that's all I can tell you. L is equal to something like this. This is how you wrote it. And then, of course, why stop at L? You can have a two L structure. That means two legions. And then you have XL, rows of legions. And then legion, legion, slash, slash. This is kind of like L square structure. And then you can, of course, you can use L into the bracket, into the array itself. So L1, AB, something like this. And then, of course, you can continue. You can use L in this form. You can con you can repeat this whole thing all the way from the linear array. Let's say, for example, a four entry array, you can put L, 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 way beyond what we have seen so far. And then, of course, you can continue using this crazy. You can continue. You can repeat this all over again. You can use this in dimensional arrays and also pentation uh, or tetrational array. And even repeat it f all the way from um, from the legion array. You can use L as well. So, and then this one is the uh, Luxion space. Of course, you can do X and L. And then L and L, A, B, something like that. You can read it yourself. And then, and then we reach something like this. You can again make a new notation. This means like geotic array of. So this can mean A at B means L, 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 L with B number of L, A, B. And then you can do something like this. And then the final level, this thing over here, Luxions, Lagions, Ligions, and beyond. And this is where kind of this came from this is actually beyond even these so a b and this is you know this is slightly different than this as you can tell this means this over here a at b at a at a for b number of times and then a luxion space is an l2 space and then you can 
again introduce a new operator it means a percent a percent a blah 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 with b number of a's and then you can do something like this a new operator this is not minus this is just a new notation it means a pound a pound a with b number of a's and then you have the lagen space or lactin space which is l3 and then this one is l4 and of course why stop here you can continue l5 l6 l7 even l100 and again this one looks familiar because there is a l100 here this is where it came from so and then of course you can even go crazy you can go l a google L whatever LL or LL as many as you want. You can keep extending, iterating, and iterating. This is the crazy part of the LBAF. So we can do something like this three and three. And finally, this is the legendary number Mia 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 Loka Pua Umpa, which is something like this. And of course, so far I have already shown you each of the symbols and notation over here. You can try to imagine how big this is, or at least if you still don't understand, you can read the Wikipedia page, uh, or I can say it's unbelievably huge and unbelievably crazy. Again, at the linear array level is already way beyond chain arrows. And I'm not sure where tree and SCG lies at at this thing maybe somewhere here in the uh, legions array notation or maybe here but definitely most likely smaller than this level so if this is well defined i would say this number is way 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 bigger than tree 3 way 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 bigger than even scg 13 but it is smaller than loader's number because loader's number um, the language is used is the calculus of construction which is supposed to be stronger than this kind of things um, and it's kind of a little bit like the a weak version of the BC beaver that's why that's what it makes the loaders number so big so anyway this is um, a quick video on how powerful is beef and how big is this number so thanks for watching and have a nice day